Oh, hi everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... PSM First Metric here, at your service. And welcome to Showcase Sunday number 81. <laughs> Again, I think I said this last time, but I'm kind of amazed how long we've been going with these. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. don't really think into account. We did take a break from them for a while, even. Yeah, and well, they got slowed down a lot due to well work. But uh, yeah, for anyone watching and curious, uh, what we do in a showcase Sunday is that we take some four or six games, and give each of them about half an hour, maybe less if we just don't like them, to see if they're any good for streaming or just recording later. And today we are starting rather silently with Dead Rising 2. And the reason that this is here and that, that's because I'm having to run this with an extra program to make it play nice with windowed mode. Which, well, is what works best with you know, for me. The annoying thing is, is that like with Commandos 2, it is only running in the corner of the game. So like a, a small sliver of it is hidden behind my camera. But it should still be functional and everything. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, let's get started and start the timer. Let's see. New game and start. Oh dear. And it says I can now say it. Hello Glacier Boy and welcome. Yeah, welcome as always. Don't know if that was intentional or if it just loaded in his face only just there. I, I'm presuming intentional. Like, uh, focus and all that to, well, direct your focus. And yes, that was indeed a bite mark. Hey, hey, you're on in two minutes, Mr. Green. My name's Chuck. Yeah, yeah. Look, I need you to sign this release form before you go out there. Oh, and uh, don't forget to include your next of kin. Her name is Katie. Can you take her somewhere safe? Yeah, I'll take her to the green room. Go with the nice man, Katie. Don't worry. I won't be long. It looks like that in the upper corner is just going to stay throughout everything. Okay, small side effect, but oh well. I've had worse. Zombies, otherwise she'd still be around. <laughs> Save it for the show, shithead. Zombies took our Willamette. They took our Las Vegas. But tonight, America, we're going to get a little payback. Your 
Or is the mic is shaped like a maze? Well, America, are you hungry for a little terror? Because tonight, we're gonna give it to you. I've been poking these zombies all week, and man, are they pissed. <laughs> Our contestants are almost ready. So let's send them a little message. You gotta be willing to risk it all if you're ever really gonna Oh dear. And yeah, I agree with you, Glacier Boy. This seems like a really bad idea. Like, sure, it could kill some of them like a shock cavalry, but it'd be noisy as heck. Yeah, and just draw more. Oops, yeah, I'll like into one of them. Again, yes, it will likely kill them. But as Helio said, also draw more. Okay, we're in second place with all of this, and I don't think we'll... Oh. We seem to be getting more points for the one with the balloons. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I, can see I could see this work as a limited tactic. But you know you're not going to draw in too many. Okay, this uh, space bar works for quicker turns. Oh well. well actually, I usually this nope. may not work at all. <laughs> we, we just barely scraped into first there. I'm not actually sure if you need first place there or not. And yeah, you'd basically crash upon hitting the first guy because those thing chainsaws don't cut cleanly through someone like that. Yeah, so much for big money, a few hundred. straight down the hallway. You can't miss it. Sound is a bit soft on my end. Yeah, on my end as well. And also, another problem if, um, if I just realized uh, before the cutscene, Sensu hates cloth. It will get clogged instantly. Yeah. 
And hello there, big trucker. Let's see. Sure, go to bed, check Twitch, see a recognized streamer, hoping for something to fall asleep to, and he's trying to death raise a motorcycle. What is this coming to? <laughs> hey, hey, trucker. We're, we're basically doing a showcase Sunday where we give four games, sometimes more, uh, up to half an hour of time. And yeah, guide arrow. And we're, <laughs> we're starting with... Uh, Oh, okay, so that was more than just a few hundreds, that was a few thousand instead. <laughs> well, yeah, this is Dead Rising 2, which is a pretty known game, I'd say. Uh, from what I've heard, the series did start to fall off after this one, but the first and second are still very liked, I'd say. Let's see. To save your game, visit the bathroom and rel relieve yourself, really? <laughs> really? Uh, I didn't know there were that many games on them already. I think there was a fourth one as well. I'm Wait, not entirely what? sure. I've, I know there's at least three. I, I thought it was only one. Nope. <laughs> okay. Does he seem tall? Does she have high heels? True. Hmm. But you must get that a lot. Yeah, just give it 20 years when you start to rimple. And then we'll see uh, how cocky you are. What is Umbrex? Oops, things are already going to shit. It's a very quick turn rate. Oop. Give me that. And yeah, here we start the basic combat of this game, and a lot of people are dropping, as you can see. Pyrax, I'll take that. Yeah, I feel like the axe is probably more effective than a baseball bat. Like, if you have a, a bit more heavier baseball bat with a bit more weight behind it, then it probably would be a damn good weapon, but otherwise, maybe not so much. Yes, maybe stay in the elevator a while longer and let the, <laughs> and basically let the <laughs> let the horde pile up outside. No thanks. Okay. Yeah, yep. probably easy to deal with them before they. Yeah, make a. God, I think that's this best term, even though it sounds horrible. A wall of flesh. Yeah, ooh. That goes to. Where does that go? Oh, right. There we go. Now I remember why all the flesh jumped. We. Okay, luckily not her, and luckily someone else.
Okay, so we can kick, but we are very vulnerable like this. Oh. Uh, dude, maybe not run that way. Okay. <laughs> nice knowing you, Erin. Oh, I can see why he did run that way. Yeah, but he just ran into more. Uh, can we save these people? Nope. Uh, we, we can't jump that. We can only hope that they'll act as a distraction. Get off. Yeah, some are slow. The problem is when they stop there blocking so many... all your paths. Uh, wait, what? When there's, it, it, the problem with zombies is that there's just so freaking many of them that eventually you're going to get surrounded. And, well, very clearly there's a bunch of them already. At least they thought of making these in case, well, shit went down. Airlock system makes sense. Ooh. Listen, it's an existing condition. All right, it's okay. It happened a long time ago. It's only a matter of time before she turns. Hey, don't worry. I've got Zombrex. Yeah, well, you better have a lot. Because there ain't none here, and the rescue ain't coming for three days. Three days? Yeah, the reserves will already be mobilized. Their first priority is to quarantine the city, and that takes time. They'll enter the city at first light three days from now. That's the standard procedure. So we're stuck here? There's a couch in the security room. Why don't you take her in there? It's quieter. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, that's what Zombrax does. It extends, or it's it withholds the uh, infection for 24 hours. Right, so they have made some progress in that area. Yeah. And it makes sense to have an airlock system in there. Well, if, if one infected gets in, it would at least, well, it would sacrifice anyone else in the airlock, but it would at least keep the infected out of the main area. Yeah, giving more time to prepare.
let me worry about that, okay, kiddo? I know where you can get some. How long have you been listening? Don't worry. I won't say anything. There's a pharmacy in the Royal Flush Mall. I'm Stacy Forsythe, by the way. I'm Chuck. And this is Katie. We can keep in touch. There's closed circuit cameras all over the city. These monitors are playback only, but I'll keep an eye on them. Chuck, if you find anyone alive out there, I'll do what I can. Keep an eye on my daughter. Map is always useful. Oh yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, it would it would have been a lot smarter to not use the things that caused the apocalypse. <laughs> and yeah, here we have two time limits: one until the military arrives and starts cleaning house, and well, one for Katie every twenty four hours. Let's see. This game has co op. Uh, let's say from Glacier Boy, you do think they make bonkers and that sort of thing? Oh, damn it! <laughs> uh, ta -ta. Or here's an idea, no game show is using the things that almost cause the apocalypse. Yeah, but has humanity ever been actually smart with sort of that sort of stuff? And Okay, it's at maximum volume, apparently. Is it being what? strangled by the volume mixer or something? Unsure for uh, let me see. The other sound effect sounds just fine, like here. Okay, could just be a thing that's a side effect of something. Uh but yeah. We need to go find Zombrax for Katie, otherwise it is obviously game over. Luckily we have a very long timer on that, which you can see on the upper right. Though it is already partially depleted. Okay. I believe you can get quests from people here. Oh, what warning? How to identify an infected? Uh, <laughs> I think that's a pretty big uh, sign of infection. And well, we saw how quickly someone can turn. Someone just came off stage when all of this went to hell. And yeah, we can get out through here. I've played this game a little bit before. And well, I've seen a let's play of it. But both of those were quite a while back, so a lot of details are missing. Yeah, maybe the maybe the glowing red eyes is a bit of a giveaway. Just a tiny one, though. Yeah, I just realized those were where the tons of zombie games were coming that were made by Excited like, War. I barely watched any of them. Yeah, this game, I'm, I think it came out in like the middle or so of the entire zombie craze again. Where, well, the place just got flooded with, uh... <clears throat> just... Oop. Hello? Let's see. Chuck, I found a broken travel brochure for Fortune City. It says that right now you, you're somewhere. Crap. Okay, that's locked. Okay, behind that door I know what there is, though. And that is the main gimmick of this game. Where we can combine stuff. make better weapons and yes the game actually keeps count of how many zombies you've killed yeah oh i think i said a little bit of dead rising one by pewdiepie and uh, jacksepticeye and maybe mogabaya but not entire series let's see uh, ta -ta -ta. 
I wish survival sectors weren't relegated to extremists these days. Uh, I should really build one if I ever get the money. Yeah, it can't help. Uh, it can't hurt to be prepared in case there are emergencies. Uh, but a lot of people are the, the people you hear about the most are like the kinds that uh, tend to be, yeah, the extremist parts where they expect the the world to go to hell. There's probably people in fall in those fallout shelters who've gone in there like years ago and just not come out yet. Ew. Yeah, probably, probably some many, rare ones, like, perhaps. Yeah, probably Running not many, but at least a small amount. Yeah, but I suspect that many... At least they try to make sure it's clean, uh, well-stocked and all that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we need to get some health. And yeah, you... We can deal with them decently easily, just knock them out of the way. I, w I was hoping to turn to a, a crowd just following after us there, but <laughs> apparently not. Yeah, and there's also another reason I feel like a baseball bat is not a good weapon. It's meant to hit a ball, not people. Yeah, they will break. Yeah, like if it was a proper war club, then it may have been more, be more sturdier to handle it, or if you had modified it, be it reinforcement and some metal. Where's this Then it should be good. For the oh. design of the bat is not the problem. Is the lack of reinforcement that is the problem? Yeah. Oop. Okay, we are almost dead, and we did hit this timer. Oop, give me that. Just straight up coffee creamer. Okay. But uh, yeah, th this is a pretty good game. Well, I have to see if I can just. Get, actually, it's not covering too much. It's mostly interfering a bit with the experience bar. Uh, where is that? Yeah, where that's is a that? wheelchair. Yeah, I, and you, you can actually put machine guns on that. <laughs> I was worried for that. Okay, this is the game where you can make really crazy weapons. Yep. And Okay, let's see. I imagine during Cold War in Europe, there will have been people staying in Fallout shelter for years, true, and America. Uh, I, yeah. And of course the place is being looted. Then again, that is basically what we came to do. They're less of a massive scale. Well, now it depends what kind of looters. That kind. Come on. Don't lie to me. We don't have a safe. Don't lie. Hey, dirtbag. Let the lady go. Why don't you mind your own business, old man? Exactly what I'm doing. I'm just here looking for some Zombrex. Well, you're definitely gonna need some painkillers when I'm done with you. Talking to you is giving me. What say you give me some money, and I'll go get some for you? Yeah, give us some money, Grandpa. We'll help you out. How about it, Grandpa? <laughs> Tomahawk, really? Right. Let's deal uh, with these jackasses, and we'll call it. Uh, as it is, a Tomahawk would be a good weapon. Correction. Uh, it would be a good weapon as long as it's not a replica. Yeah. So, uh, replica would not be worthless, just not as good as the real deal for a Vermoid. Tomahawks are quite good. And there we go. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't re remember how long the game takes. I believe at a certain point you can just go into free play and just screw around, but you will have to deal with a lot of timers to, uh, yeah, well, I save people, get certain objectives done. Yeah, I, I could see us 
play this as a series, but this is one of those things I feel we should do investigation before we go all out yes on. Yeah. Let's see. Since the end of the Cold War, almost all survival shelters in America have been repurposed or destroyed. Even near the end of it, knowledge of the locations was diminishing. Okay. All right. And oh, yeah. <laughs> Glacier, <laughs> oh, yeah. <Pardon? laughs> Yeah, having at least a few in an area would still be a good idea, especially in areas that are hazard prone, I'll just say, like uh, tornado areas and such. Let me just move the window a bit so it's more centered for me. What the? Oh. And uh -oh. yeah. The second game we have for today is the original Dead Space, which recently the remake came out. And for 90-95% I've only had... Uh, <clears throat> I've only heard good about them. Like, only a few small gripes, but nothing beyond that. <laughs> That's what wine cellars are for. I don't think people would survive too long in those. And a tornado, perhaps, but not a zombie called apocalypse. So, yeah, I don't think this needs explanation, so we'll just get right into it and start the timer. Oh, dear God. And I should probably give people a warning. Almost, if not all games today, we start with dead or death. Yeah, at, at least the first four actually start with just dead in the title. Yeah, yeah you're switching like the space. Time. And I won't spoil the next two yet. I, I, I feel like it's a theme with these two lost, uh, this one of the last episode. Yeah. <laughs> now, so the funny thing is that with the remake, they act, instead of putting a, a year behind that, they just put a name behind this one retroactively. So it's obviously now Dead Space 2008. <laughs> and yeah, there's a bit of a, a theme going on with uh, today's games. Isaac, it's me. I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I wish I could just talk to someone. I'm falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. It's strange. Such a little thing. How many times you watched that thing? <laughs> Guess you really miss her. Oh. Oh, we're almost there. You'll be able to look her up once we're on board. Oh. Sounds like you do have a lot of catching up to do. All right, everyone, we're here. It's sinking our orbit now. Well, Jess just undercuts All everything. For that chunk of rock. Deep space mining is a lucrative business, Miss Daniels. Each is seven is a gold mine, according to prospectors' reports. Cobalt, silicon, osmium. Now, where is she? There she is. We have visual contact. So that's Ishimura. Asteroid. Impressive. The USG Ishimura, biggest planet cracker in her class. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it all dark? I don't see any running lights. Corporal, take us in closer and hail them. And stay clear of that debris field. We're here to fix their ship, not the other way around. USG yeah, that's, Ishimura. That's a big this old is the chunk of planet that they of pulled the USG out. Kellyan responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. You're going to need to boost the signal if their power's low. Yes, we know. Boost the signal. More. Never heard of a total communications blackout on one of these things. You'd think with a thousand people on board, someone would pick up the phone. What is that? It's a busted array like we thought. Sounds like they're having problems with their encoder. You get us down there and Isaac and I can fix it. 48 hours max. All right, you have the lady. Take us in, let's see what needs fixing. Gravity tether's engaged. Automatic docking procedures ago. What the hell? 
sir. The auto dock. What is it? We're off track. We're gonna hit the hole. Hit the blast shields. That guidance tether is damaged. Switch to manual. Now. Inside the magnetic field? Are you insane? Abort! No! We can make it inside. Corporal, I gave you an order. The field's too strong. Okay. What? What the hell were you thinking? Were you trying to get us killed? I just saved our asses, Miss Daniels. If we had aborted at that speed and distance, we'd have smashed right into the side of the Ishimura. Now settle down. Let's get to work. Corporal, report. I'm not getting any readings from the port booster, and we've lost comms and autopilot. It'll take some time All to right. fix. Let's get some extra hands from flight deck to help out. Hold still, Isaac. I'm sinking up everyone's rig with the ship. Okay, we're done. Clean bill of health for everyone. All right. We've still got a job to do. We're moving out. Hmm. That dude actually looks a bit like an uncle of mine. <laughs> the first one that came walking by. <laughs> Just permanent glare, almost. Let's see, are there supposed to be tethers to her head? No, that was her hair just freaking the absolute hell out. So I'm not it, actually it using anything to run this specially. I'm just running it in windowed mode. I guess so it, it was almost freaking out a little bit, but not working properly. I, I think I guess so press to love play one of these and it had some issue with uh, some characters' hair as well. Yeah, th those hair physics uh, have always been a bit wonky. Luckily, yeah. I don't think they are as much anymore, and... Okay, Isaac, I know you're armored like... Or you're supposed to be armored like a tank, but... Uh, you aren't supposed to turn like one. Oh, there we go. The menu was slowing down the turning a bunch. Okay. But yeah, I don't think this game needs too much introduction. Yeah. So, do I say... If we were to stream this game series... You didn't lose power to the port booster. You lost the port booster. Unbelievable. Still is... Oh, yeah, they definitely lost at the small miracle they even landed this thing. But uh, you were, you're talking about doing the remake instead of this one? Yeah, probably better with remakes. Yes. That one probably works better. Yeah. And it's just generally in, yeah, improved. Since it actually gives Isaac a voice and everything. Isaac. Get over here and hack the door pad. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Come on, open up. Boxes. He stands. <laughs> Yeah, he has the stance of someone who has been leaned over way too much. Probably the same way I stand. Move! I need some t coffee. Seems some like food. everyone's trying to pack in a hurry. There should be a security detail in here. Yeah? Well, there's not. There's nobody here. I can't pick up any broadcasts. But that security console is still live. Isaac, log in and see what you can find. Kendra, get that elevator back online. Up there. Power's dead. I can't. Then we the damn power. I, I think the biggest uh, minus that people have said about the remake is that uh, the voice acting of some of the characters is rather flat. Use the system to find yep. your we have a map, we have an objective screen, and this to point the way around, which was new and really liked in this game. Uh, radio, time to cry myself to sleep looking at my bank account. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> good night all the same, uh, Big Trucker. Thank you for coming along for a bit, oh, and I'll see you sleep. next time. Uh, sleep well, Trucker. Thank you for joining. Huh, that doesn't look good. She's taking a lot of damage. The tram system's offline. Getting around is going to be difficult. 
Air seems to be flowing again. That's a start. What the hell was that? Automatic quarantine must have tripped when the filtration system restarted. Everybody relax. So in the well, reactive actually sure. before the quarantine started up? What the hell? I don't know. Something's in the room with us. Jesus! Over fire! Over fire! There's a power! And something jumped down behind us. Run, Isaac! Get the hell out of there! It, what the? I thought we should be, have died from that scrap metal. Things are going to shit again. Yeah. Bloody heck. I think the reason they well got popular was, was it they swing was sort of unique, like they But they are dead, but they're not your usual zombies. Okay, just um slide to the left. <laughs> Plasma cutter. Down with controls. Yeah. Someone's definitely. not having a good time in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah we definitely replay the uh, new what it looks like. How do I? There we go. Middle mouse button swaps. Oh yeah. It... Okay, something is messing with the gravity of things. I think. Either gravity or there's a problem with the game engine. Yeah, something is just ragdolling like hell in the walls. It's in the sounds of it. In the walls. It's in the walls. <laughs> And uh, yeah, the iconic health bar on the back, which makes a lot of sense actually. I think there was an idea at one point. Everybody, listen up. They're using the vents. That's how they're getting around the ship. Stay away from down. Get back. Get back. Ah! <laughs> Glacier boy, it sounds like a fish flopping in my ears. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Credits. Isaac! Isaac! God, I can't believe you made it. Isaac, <laughs> we ran to more of them on the way over here. Are you okay? More there what? you are. What the hell are those things? Is that the crew? Keep your voice down. Whatever they are, they're not friendly, and half the doors on this ship are locked because of the quarantine. Now, we have to get to the bridge. But first, we gotta repair the tram system. You're crazy, Hammond. You're gonna get us all killed. If you listen to me, I'll get you out of here alive. And what's wrong with the tram? The data board is fried, but there should be a spare in the maintenance bay. There's also a broken tram blocking the tunnel that needs to be repaired. Damn it! Everything is on the other side of this quarantine. We can't reach it from here. No, we can't. But you can. Isaac, if I can get to the bridge, I should be able to access the personnel files. You fix the tram, and I'll help you find Nicole. Let's see. And, yep, the game doesn't pause during any of this, so... Yeah, look at your own risk. I actually didn't know that this game had a map screen, because I'm pretty sure I never used it at all. I, I've, at best, I've used this thing, just point away. Oh, dear. Okay, give me that. 
Yeah, I, I think it was an idea at one point to... Uh, probably a bit of a... Yeah, just... <laughs> something that wasn't going to really work, but... To have health indicators, uh, to try and make actual health indicators like your know, Isaac has on the back. Isaac, be careful. Shooting them in the body didn't seem to work. Go for the limbs. Dismember them. That should do the job. <laughs> Never think so. Oh. Dismembering enemy limbs and doing extra damage. Right. I, I mean, as some guys have been doing that, or some other body parts, depending which you see most. But it kind of makes sense, but not on every game, like in a... Uh, well, if you were in some fantasy game or something medieval, it would not make sense. Yeah. It, okay, it may make sense on some fantasy, depending uh, in what style of... Like, there's different flavors of fantasy nowadays. Okay. Isaac is turning rather slow with all of this. Very obviously, our shots are going where the dots are and cutting everything in between. And here we have another staple of the series. Stasis, which slows stuff down, making it easier to kill or to get past Looks stuff like that. Looks like that door is malfunctioning, Isaac. Try using the stasis module you just picked up. <laughs> A bit late on that. There we go, save station. Okay, it seems that the mouse sensitivity is different in different areas. Because Isaac is turning rather slowly with everything. Which makes sense, this is a horror game, not a shooter. Or not a Call of Duty shooter. That way, thank you. Okay, only a brownout, not an actual blackout. Brownouts being temporary blackouts. Your stasis module should be able to help you with that arm mechanism. I never brown out before. I only heard the term temporary blackout. What the? Okay, I see. They only hang on for a little bit. Or... Okay, you're staying on. What is Isaac supposed to be? What, like, what is his job role? He's an engineer. Oop. Okay, I'm pretty sure they weren't supposed to apply that for something is messing with the game's gravity, I'm thinking. Oh dear. Like, yes, it makes sense we're in the space, but. I feel like it would have made reaction to everything else if it said did anything dead. And there we have the explanation of why that stasis module was there. Oh, Glacier Boy? Isaac is an engineer, yeah. So you can fix your PC. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe he can fix the gravity here as well. Very loud. You did it. The tram is blocking the whole system. When you get the computer online, you'll be able to call the tram from the control room. Faster the better. I can hear something crawling around out there. So we've got these little lockers and power notes. Just shoot up a leg, and then one of the claw arms. And most of these are dealt with, but they are of course going to come in bigger numbers. Okay, just slide on. Okay, we can head back. Uh, 
They're a little ugly. Can't shoot through that. Oop. Accidentally stomped. Isaac is just angry that he can't actually kill that thing yet. <laughs> okay. No reloads. At least on this one. I kind of got distracted by the corpse. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear God, Celian! Oh, hello, Ron! Oh, hey, Ron. Hey. What's it doing? Doing well, um, and apparently we do need to reload. We're back. Oh, no, we're out. We're just out completely. Uh, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> trying to survive necromorphs is to answer your question. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm messing with the shot. I think you disabled anti aliasing in slopes. The body glitching out, by the way. Okay, thank you, Berg Mac. And. Well, there goes Isaac. <laughs> okay. Uh. Options. Let me just turn down this a bit as well. And um, let's see. Accept visuals. Let's see. Graphic custom. Da, da, da. And uh, advanced. Okay. Bloom, glow, depth of field, anti-aliasing. Uh, okay, it it's on. on. That's odd. Uh, what happens if we turn it off then? Is that just going to make things worse? Let's see. I'm still controlling like a bloody tank for some. Uh, okay, let's turn that back on. Don't know why okay. that is causing that. Uh, on one. Visuals. Continue. And there. Yes, except... Yep. Okay. Huh? Okay, up. Okay, yeah, the game is just being glitchy. It is 15 uh, years old. Uh, wait, I think if you disable anti-aliasing, it stops the body glitching out, but if you disable it... Oh, so we uh, read it. But it did uh, yeah. seem to almost make it worse. Uh, let's just turn it back off then. Uh, any of the let's turn blur off. That's typically not really liked. Since well, it causes you. Let's see if it's still going to happen. I don't. Know. That is still gliding. Remember to aim for the limbs. Yeah, not the head, because if you shoot up the head of most of them, they'll just go berserk instead. Hold on. Oop. I just realized something here. There we go. I don't know who Mac is. Another friend of yours? Yeah, the one that has been very eager to watch you play Batman and all of War and all the Warhammer games and Marvel games. Okay, we're, we're getting to those eventually, but <laughs> welcome aboard, Zip Mac. <laughs> Isaac, I've patched into the deck security system. It took some work, but I've got the door to the maintenance bay unlocked. The data board should be somewhere inside. Okay. I don't remember being able to turn so slowly whilst walking, but it does make sense. Because, well, Isaac is in quite a suit with all of this. Are we just... Let's see. Oh, uh, what are... The... Okay, why are not... Okay, so we... Yeah, we do need to reload with these. I missed... 
misunderstood that a bit earlier. There we go. I was starting to think, why do we have so few ammo for our first weapon? But I was just being dumb. You know, also stomp everything until it's out without ammo. Yeah, it, still stuff just sliding on. Hang on, Ugh. let me see something. This is Benson, Tram Engineering. We think we figured it out. Smith killed one. Listen, forget about shooting him in the body. You gotta cut off the limbs. Grab a cutter, anything like that. Cut him apart. Yeah, there's really... <laughs> He's shoving that down your throat. Okay. Okay, there might be some issues with the mouse because of neg because of aggressive Isaac, negative mouse acceleration. It's Kendra. It looks like okay. the door to the storage room is locked. There should be a key somewhere in the maintenance bay. That explains why it goes so fast around here. But I presume it is mostly just to, well make you not be able to play this game like it's freaking cards. We can turn pretty quickly when we're not walking or aiming. Go. And that's our 25 minutes with this. So, yeah, I'd say... I'm definitely up for streaming this, you know, or at least the remake of this game. It has been a long ass time since I've played any of these games, but 1 and 2 are at the very least really good. 3 is, uh, well, EA got its claws into the series by then. But yeah. in general, it's not absolutely terrible from what I've personally seen of it. They could get it. We could co op it. Yeah. And if they continue with remaking 2 and 3, maybe they can, well, fix their shit. It is really... There's a lot of potential in Dead Space 3. Hang on, I can send you something. Give me a minute. Yeah. That's sneaky. There's a mouse fix for the uh, aiming. Give me a minute, I'll post it. Okay. Uh, either way... Let's move on to the third game for today, then. So, exit the windows. And yes. Question is, is this a, another dead or death game? Yeah, you'll see once this one starts up. Oh, and you want to cap the frame rate to about 60. Okay, uh, that can also be a problem. Uh, I, I can say this. Uh, I feel like 60 is just the perfect number for... Human, I only see up to 60 frames per second to begin with. Okay, this is a bit an odd one. I had to <clears throat> I had to minimize the game there for a second because this one only really fits or really is readable in full screen mode. But apparently it doesn't have like the program uh, icon at the taskbar as normal would be. But yeah. Welcome to Deadbolt. This game, I'll just say it up front, this is a yes. We are doing this as a side quest stream at some point. And yeah. Uh, what yeah, was I, that? I, Gunpoint. That, I, like Gunpoint, it is a really, it's a short but fun game. Yeah, I think I've seen a little bit of this one. Just forgot who I was play this on YouTube. <laughs> well, you'll see a bit more then. Let's, let's go for normal. Another night. Kill all undead. And let's see. Yep. <laughs> Trade. Also, it's a one shot, one dead. Yeah, as became very oh, yeah. obvious there. Yeah, uh, oh, I just have to say that. Just to clarify who Mac is. Mac is the friend I talked about on stream many times. Is that friend who told me that about Warhammer or that game or something else, or about that Marvel or DC character. That's that friend. 
I got it. Okay. Gotta I have to cap the frame rate on a thing. We could travel around through the crapper. <laughs> Ew. The fact that the crapper is connected to the vent system says all some very weird things about this uh, place. Wait. Oh, wait, I think that's what it was connected to the sewer. Yeah, yeah, but some of these are in fact connected to the, to the crappers. Let's see, we can have multiple weapons. We have a revolver and a 9mm pistol. Yeah, I, I don't remember... He could travel like that. One of the game's gimmicks is that since you're basically the Grim Reaper, who's just taking a... a who's basically just being a hitman, you can just do shit like this. Yep. Uh is there more than it's one character? <laughs> Quite literally. But is there more than one character you play as here? I don't know. Um, it's, only the, it's only the Reaper. Yep. <clears throat> I feel oh, so you're confused. Going back. Yep. Did he change him? I thought it, but it might be my memory trick, but I thought it was more. Running around like a jumping Jason Voorhees. I think you're thinking of some other game then. Which one was Deadbolt? Wait, what? The protagonist uh, has a skull for a head, not not a mask. Yeah. <laughs> the flames roar to life, and a voice speaks out. Another life well returned. Mission. My candles tell me tales. Undead form and blossom find their abode and knock, and free them from their jails. The flames never spoke in prose. Intel. Undead are easiest to kill when alone. The fire licks and sneers. Undead, zombies included, must be helped towards the afterlife. And yeah, there we go. Alright. And now we go, well, Go a killing again. Noisy neighbors. Zombie kings. Ah uh, yeah. So this is what in between point of the afterlife. Everyone's just a gang. Oh dear. Then is it is chat still working? It should be. I think. Let's see. Let's not drop out in the middle there. We can. Yeah, it's still working. Okay, then we go around. Let's see, from Glacier Roy, I'm going to take a guess at the game after this. <laughs> okay, guess then. Is that one coming up? Yes, he is. We can take cover You're behind some items. Guess. Like the enemies oh, can as well. And he's coming up. And going down. Oh, candle. It's... Nope. Almost out of ammo with that one. And there we go. Okay, so there's still... <laughs> it's not death and taxes. Would you believe me if I said there is a weapon called Death and Taxes? What? It's uh, a revolver. TF2? TF2 maybe? <laughs> Why am I not surprised it's a revolver? <laughs> Flames roar to life. The undead begin to crop. Strange powders from below. Inside the flame, eject their brains and see what it contains. Powders. A new drug called Ash. His candles say that it makes you feel like you're alive again. The Flames, my employer, wants to know more. And now we're going on a drug hunt. <laughs> new high. The zombies are selling some strange drug. Find out what it is. <clears throat> Sparkle. 
Marcos. Let's see. Got a hammer. And a guy with a shotgun who doesn't go down in one hit. Aim for the head. Also, I told you the shitter connects to other places. Yeah. Oh, dear gods. Okay, we can knock to lure him. Yep. And get shot again. It's okay. a fun. It's a tie, not fi. Bloody heck. I butchered that one. Okay, knock, knock, and just. One, two, three. I'll take that. I should have just said that it's a draw. <laughs> Let's kill all on dead. Gladly. Oh, oh, oh. oh God. Cassette tape. Oh. No, those two are coming to investigate. I'll use it. Here we go. Okay, we are out of weapons I want to at the your moment. Gun because you don't... Yep, yep, I stuck in the door. There we go. Uh, yeah, thrown weapons don't return, or you don't pick them up again. So we need to go find. Oh, there's a gun. Uh, <laughs> there's another gun with a bullet right in your ribs. Well done. It. You know, always keep the lights off. I just realized there's a house on we How the heck does that stay up? You got a lot of prefab manufacturing, right? Yep. There we go. So I imagine that's gonna be one painful thing to try to drive around with. Yep. Okay, I thought I got him in the head there, but nope. Really, Glacier Boy? Really? <laughs> and for people that can't read what he's saying here, that's what she said. Let's see, where does this connect to? Up here and over here, okay. So I just wait for this guy to turn around. And wait for him to come walking right in. go uh now we don't okay we'll have to pick this one up so we actually have a weapon to get the big boy with okay check those and there we go and then we can just return back this way. Also, fancy car. Very fancy. Okay, four stars again. We get souls. Oh, I killed it five. Isn't two cassettes? Okay. We got one from the zombies. I wake up. Cold water. Docked again. Splint this in my hand. Where am I? Roland's here. He helps. He says we leave. He says we don't have to come back to the docks again. He gives me a hit. Good hit. I feel it in my tongue, and my throat, and my hands, and my feet, and my ears, and... I wake up. How much time? Something in my ear. Music. I look down, and there's Splint this in my hand. Roland's gone. I die again. I overdose again. I wake up. Hands wet. Feet wet. Docks again? I'm in the living room. I need more ash. Roland? I hear the music again. I hear yelling. The room fills up with cold water. I splinter and we all overdose again. I wake up. Knocking at the door. Roland? Well? Um... Okay? The flames roar to life, and I see visions inside. 
The fireplace begins to speak. Flash caskets breathe, burn the ash, scatter their teeth. I see two entrances to the house. The left entrance has less zombies, but the right entrance has more weapons. My choice. And the new gun. I see visions of Charon, the ferryman. Or Char Charon, I believe it is. He may be interested in the souls I've collected for our mutual employer. I should see him at the docks before my next mission. Docks. Charon lives at the docks. I can exchange souls for weapons before I accept my mission. Which we can do okay. right here. And there he is. And of course he has a boat. That up <laughs> death and taxes. <laughs> High fire rates holds 14 bullets for 80 souls. Okay, we have the revenant. High damage but loud. Five bullets, same cost. Headhunter, extremely powerful headshots, five bullets. 9mm pistol, high capacity pistol, 10 bullets for 30 souls. And the suppressed 9mm for 80. And, but it does less damage. 9mm SMG, fast but inaccurate, 30 bullets. Tactical SMG, silent with laser sight, holds 30. Semi automatic shotgun, 4 shells for 120. And a suppressed shotgun, you don't see those often. Silent shotgun for five shells and a scythe. Long range slashing weapons can't be thrown for 200. And we have secondaries. Of... Okay, it's a point .25 mouse gun. Only two bullets. Bl Blunderbuzz, really? Plitlock shotgun <laughs> with a single shot for 80. And a flashback. Okay. I think okay. you can, if you want to unlock these, you do keep. Uh, you, yeah, you do keep access to them, not that you have to buy them over and over again. Wait, I just realized over here. Glacier was sort of right, except Death Attack just was the second gun you can buy, not the second game we play in. Yeah, it, yeah, okay, it, it's on locks. Let's see. Um. Let's save up at the moment. Well, actually, there's no need to save up since this is only a temporary showcase. So... Let's go with the SMG. This is, of course, an Uzi. Nope. Bunch of souls in the boat. Okay, carrying them on to the afterlife, Charon. No. Our next mission... Actually, we could have gotten the silenced one, but oh well. Smoke signals. Let's get the attention of their leader. Burn all that drugs. Let's see. Oh, big boy. Yeah, I probably could have selected our we oh, Okay, we can change our weapons here. Okay. Ooh. Let's take the SMG and go for the big guy then. Okay, just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> is he? Is he still alive? Yeah, nah, I mean. he's dead. He's his ragdoll just decided to do that. <laughs> he's just vibing. Okay, burn those. Let's grab a knife. Now, where does this go? It only took you a few stabs for it to notice that you were getting stabbed. Okay. Ow! Yep. Okay, too short on the draw there. Cassette. And now he's headless. He can't vibe anymore. <laughs> Burn those. And let's get up behind them. Yep. And get shot because <laughs> we were too far away <laughs> to get an accurate shot there. Oh, Helion. What are we yep. going to do with you? <laughs> and then we get splattered because I let up 
Just a moment. Actually. There we go. Let him out. That one's out. Okay, we can't actually and jump down from here. And the one zombie that just walks there just keep finding carnage of new bodies. And now he can find his own. <laughs> okay. Yep. You really didn't notice that, dude? Hi. Thank you. Yep. Okay, I... I didn't notice that he was coming up. Let's see. Oh. What? He frowned. Really? That's a. There we Ew. go. Only a single sh no bullet left in that. Yep. Oh, I thought if we popped in on one. From a vent as well, it would also kill them, but apparently not. Okay. Here we go. And we just get behind them instead this time. Okay, now we need to find a new weapon somewhere. Actually, right over here. Go. Love of all alien. <laughs> yeah, th this is a fun game, but it can be pretty tricky. And it, oh, I forgot to start the timer. Okay, shall yeah, we go for one more? Uh, we can do this one. Then we can uh, go for the next game. Yeah. Okay. Get you. Swap that out. Well, it, it's not that it's, it's boring. Move. We really, really don't need to show too much more of it. Yeah. Because it's rather straight to the point. They okay, still got them. There are, of course, more things that are going to happen as you go. Hmm. <laughs> like, we won't just be killing zombies. Um... Probably not a good idea to go that way with only a few bullets. Since we'll have to deal with the big guy. Uh, it's only a few bullets in this thing, but it's a few bullets more than we had before. Okay, let's let them come to us. That's going to draw the other two in. Oh yeah, this is a bit of an action tactics game. Uh, okay, let's leave it at that then. Because <laughs> I keep getting my ass kicked. <laughs> well, yeah, this is a really good game with really good music as well. The same guy made music for uh, Whisk of Rain as well. And he has, okay. he has it fully free on his YouTube channel. <clears throat> nice. So, so yeah, that one is a definite yes. So we move on to game number four. Which, okay, why are you doing first time setup? We've all, I've already started up this game before. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see, it should catch any second now. There we go. Tequila works. It's a bit fitting since we recently finished a Mexican themed game. <clears throat> going to take a bit of a drink. And yeah, this game is Deadlight. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I know this one. <clears throat> but beside the name. Okay, so 
let's just get right into it and actually start the timer this time. Just like sharks. When they stop moving, they die. That's how you are, Carla. Save yourself. Seattle, Washington, 1986. 4th of July. Wow, the apocalypse happened After in 86. After the storm apparently. came the calm and silence that make men crazy. <laughs> Carla! Carla! Why? Why? Randy, can you tell me what the fuck happened here? She's been bitten everywhere. She knew she shouldn't have gone outside. You killed her, you bastard! You murdered her! She's dead! What the hell have you done? Why? We would all be dead by now because of your little sister. How Why? many times have we said Why? not to separate from the group? Never means never. Shot drawing their attention even more. Either we reach the military shelter that you talk about so much, Grandpa, or we'll die right here. The radio message said that it was around here. It's a bit more than five miles west. Let's get out of here. Come on. I'm not leaving my sister here all alone. Nothing can be done now, Stella. <laughs> Sam, Ben, Stella, get out of here. Get to the sea. I'll meet you. I've got to find my family. It's the only place they could have gone. Stay strong, Randy, and good luck. I know we'll find them. That day was not the beginning of anything or the end of something. It was just one more day. A day like any other. The world was dying, and we were its survivors. Okay, I recognize this. Good luck, Randy. I think I've seen a little bit of this. Okay. <clears throat> but I think I, well, I had it playing on this side while uh, I was role playing or something. The body is yeah. full of bites and bruises. Yes, he would have turned. She's been shot point <laughs> blank in the head. If that was your doing, dumbass. <laughs> Why do you need to bring that up? <laughs> Yeah, um, uh, yeah, Mark, yeah, I agree with you there, Mark. It's brutal. Let's see. Check the words with this. Oh, double press. There you go. Yeah, better get out of here. There's a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> and they're hungry as all hell. Seattle's safe point must be the last stronghold in all the Pacific Northwest. Anybody alive must be trying to reach it. Let's turn it off. Don't need any more attention pulled to ourselves. Oh, wait, it was an in game radio. Yep. Oh! Let's see. Hold, I, pull and push. I just raised my head for this double check when someone was calling me or something. Is there anything up here? Let's see. No, there isn't. Okay. We have something heavy. We have wooden planks over there. And a crowd uh -oh. gathering for our attention. And that everything makes noise. Yeah. Okay, get out. Uh, wait, up, uh, up there. Everything survived. Okay, now we should be mostly in the clear. Also, nice that it shows the controls in both keyboard and controller. Let's see. use the environment against your enemies. Press the green button and release the charge on the shadow. Oh, that one's over there still alive at the fence. <laughs> okay, works um, out the same. 
pretty sure that I was supposed to go on top of them. Yeah, this is basically uh, The Walking Dead, but 2D. Platformer. And takes place way earlier than the others. Thank you. If I remember correctly, this game isn't too long. Oh, Ooh, save there. Yeah, you almost made it extra short. There you go. You can jump pretty decent from standstill. Let's see. O N T. Und T A? I don't know what that is. Ooh. Running, but we have limited stamina. And this whole place is going down. Ben and the others made it out. They deserve better than this world. And they fuck off without us. Here. Oh, One useful dear. thing about zombies is well. They're not too bright. Unless you light them up with electricity, then they're plenty bright for a very short time. <laughs> Whitecrest Pharmacy. Hay Attack or Hay something. Uh, hay Attack Products. Okay. Whatever you have. Okay, first aid kit. I find these once in a while. Thankfully, I'm fine and don't need this. Okay, healing points. Uh, okay. Now, without being distracted by the environment this time, up and over. Okay. Let's see. Me status updated. Let's see. Bensta at <clears throat> the end of the tunnel. Ben, Stella, and Sam managed to escape in the van that brought us to Seattle. It looks like I'll have to travel on my own to the safe point. <clears throat> this maintenance tunnel should take me to the highway that will guide me into the city. Okay, we found one of uh, one interactables. Anything up here? It says here the highway is at the end of this tunnel. It's a straight shot to the safe point. Shannon and Lydia might even be there by now. Uh. Hell is other people. If you wish another uh, to keep your secrets, first keep it to yourself. The... Uh, the inferno begins here. Dead people, corpses. They don't impress me anymore. Yeah, it's been a half a year since everything started going to well. Oh, Randall can't swim can't swim, avoid deep waters. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, swimming is a, a a skill most people will want to learn at some point in their life. Is that low enough? Yeah, at least some basic swimming. <clears throat> like, everyone has the ability to at least float. It's just that people who don't know how to swim generally panic and, well, start sinking because of that, because they exhaust themselves. That flimsy thing. Bodies in there. Let's hope the undead don't know how to. Well, let's hope they need air. They don't. They definitely don't. Oh no! Up. 
Luckily, their brains are probably plenty water damaged because they can't get over that. Okay, we can take three more hits. Oh, up, up. Ooh. Skip. Let's get out. Do you seriously donk it before opening it? No, we <laughs> ran into the door before opening it. Welcome to Seattle. This is what's left of our world. A drying... <coughs> A dying oasis. No more water, no more life. The war between man and shadows. Devastation. The interstate is full of the abandoned vehicles that were trying to escape the city. A shortcut to the safe point can be found on the other side of the road. Oh, diary. Okay. Uh, 1985, May 15th, so before all of this. Uh, oh, oh, there's there's a lot here. Okay. Very story heavy. Kind of like that. Uh, we'll probably read through all of that According when we stream this game. I should through. cross this highway to get closer to the safe point. Yeah, it, 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 it's better for us to save those diary points when we stream it. Yep. And title drop. This is it. This is what's left of our world now. These are the leftovers of the war between men and shadows. A snapshot of what we become. Bloody hell on Earth. Convenient little marker. Welcome to the Emerald City, Seattle. Now this gem ain't so shiny anymore. I did not know it was called that, the Emerald City. I'm not sure if it actually is or not. I know of the Emerald Isles, which is, well, I think, Ireland. Okay, no interactables but there. Emerald City? Yes. That's new one for who? Distracted by the flag, get jump scared, it's the oak. Get out. And he's stuck. Okay. Pits are generally a good you know, way to deal with zombies, but you get to a problem when there's more well, zombies than space in there. Outskirts. I'm struggling to survive encounters with these shadows. I'm lucky to be alive, but deep down, uh, but deep inside of me, I feel dread. Where are my girls? My wife Shannon, my daughter Lydia. Will I ever see them again? I've got to find my friends and my girls. I've got to. A coward zombie sh shadow. I also I also find this trend a bit confusing. I think mean, people have my jokes a bit that the end is some it, it, well, in most zombie games and movies. Sacks. You don't actually call them zombies. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. It's... I don't know why. Like I can't get it sometimes, but it has got to the point that each series and game wanna have a special name for them, but it actually has become a bit ridiculous. No time to waste. Yeah, it's more. I think it's more meant to imp uh, implement uh, or imply that uh, yeah, <clears throat> there is no zombie media in those universes. Nope. And... If I remember correctly, in the comic book and TV series of The Walking Dead, the whole zombie media doesn't actually exist, but they just call them... Well... Actually, it depends on who, because... Like, in the regular TV show and the comic book, they just take Walker. And later on, and I think in some other areas, they call them a different thing. Yeah, so I mean, in some cases, when there's something we exist in a game or movie's lore, they apparently hint that they they don't want to call them zombies, but they would admit something that they are screwed or something like that. In some cases, they go with 
back dead, like left for dead. You're dead. Okay. Then we have uh, to get out of there. In some cases I go with like infected, left for dead, and you know, there's like standard infected and there's special infected because of what the okay, whole no time finish. waste. The virus does, you know, because it creates stuff like tanks and witches and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> and in the case of like uh, 28 days later, they go. I don't remember what they went with, but uh, I know they called it the rage virus, but I don't think they just. I think they just stuck to the infection. Yeah. No, I would say. The Shadows is an unexpected name for zombies. May drive in the dark. Yeah. I, I would guess Shadows or... Actually, no, there will barely be Shadows of the former Shadows. I think you were you would be looking for shells. No, shells of your former self? Here. What? Shell. Shells of your former self, like, shell. Okay, have we, we could have just climbed up here. You, you only just figured that out. Yeah, I, I yeah. thought I thought the next part next to the car was a, a solid wall that we had to get it up again somehow. Oh dear. Okay, from Glacier Boy. I prefer calling them Nurgle children. Of course, he called them Seek, but that might also just be because of military lingo. Oh dear. And, you know, the military has to come up with, like, a name for everything. I must be tired. In, uh, mind is wandering. Modern Warfare 2, the original Modern Warfare 2, you go to the White House and it's called Whiskey Hotel because of the NATO phonetic alphabet. Yeah. I did not know this. Oh, get going. And uh, like lemmings. So actual lemmings don't actually do that. We need to find a health kit. Anyone got a health kit? Anyone? Let's see. Oh, that's a car with an alarm. Run, run. Yeah, call alarms can be a move a blessing. Shit, too many curse. Many okay. Ooh. Oh, okay. That. I didn't expect them to actually have animations for being on different elevations. Okay, quickly. Okay, we're safe-ish in here. Okay, from chat, from Glacier Boy. You can't have my health kit truck here. Oh. And from Mac, through the military does love the TLAs. Whatever that must <laughs> extends to. I uh, guessing it's a uh, military code or something. I can hear something. I am bad with acronyms. I don't understand, man. If he's already dead, why do we need to hang him? Power must be made visible. They should know that we're keeping watch on him. Who? Those things? No, I mean the survivors. Besides, what the hell do you care? Orders are orders. <laughs> Come on, let's go get the next one. God, waste of time. <laughs> hey, buddy. What lasts longer? Bricklayer's house or carpenter's house? <laughs> I bet you a hundred bucks you can't solve it. Uh, carpenters? <laughs> Listen, when someone asks you something like that, you just answer, the toughest house is the grave diggers. All gravestones last forever. Till fucking doomsday, you asshole. <laughs> no. 
Well, uh, um, three letter acronyms DLA. Oh, no. What did they mean? No, I'm Keeping stupid. On the survivors. Orders from who? The new law. They mark their kills as some kind of message. Yep. As if this world isn't already dark enough. Let me go. Okay, it is a bit hard to tell if sometimes within the same if they're Seattle within reach. Is in a safe place. Everyone I care about is in danger. Come on. Okay, draw them over. Yeah, he, he is definitely dead. He's going to be hung up next, then. If his friend ever comes back. Which I doubt. <laughs> he will walk it off according to Glacier Boy. And, yeah, I agree with you, Mac. They're probably dead. Oh, dear gods. Oh, that's a charge, true. Uh, yep. Damn it! Yeah, I think you need a little bit more. There we go. Small points. Punish. Oh no, we need to go that way because of the chain link. You know, because of the bark fence. Yep. The news was um, right. Something big happened in the city. People went to war against the shadows, military and common man alike. It didn't end well. Hmm. This might yeah, have been ground zero. The, the tricky thing about zombies, again, is they're not exactly this uh, easy to just do regular military tactics on, at least not modern ones. Okay, we can't reach that. Yeah, since training is typically for uh, <clears throat> for body shots and such, it's well isn't going to help with your typical headshot only zombies. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you have the orders to read that at one helium. <laughs> Just some sleep, antibiotics, and a door to the explorer plaster, and he will be fine. <laughs> Oh, good God. This is going to raise hell. Yep. Go. Oh. I love it. I think I heard that milk as a tactics from the Eva Ages would probably be more effective against zombies to a degree. Yeah. Again, it would depend on how many they are. And where the hell you fighting? Like, if you can create effective shield points with a shield wall, sure. But yeah, there are always this basic case of shoes you but to feel very carefully. <laughs> That's what Hellfire misses are for. Those are going to run out sooner or later, though. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Just. Uh, Terrain advantage combined with longer range weapons like spears and such would probably be better. Yeah, for them, we're quiet, but I would definitely say Hellfire Missiles will be useful. Just, again, as I said, use them wisely, for they will run out otherwise quickly. Yeah. Yeah. There's someone there that's probably going to wake up. Yep, yeah, definitely. Oh, well, hey, when you think about it, you will need to dig up old tactics and new tactics just to survive the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Uh, there is that book. Of the. the zon I forget the spe specific name of it, but uh, there is that uh, a movie that was quote unquote made based on it. By just doing absolutely no almost nothing with the actual sword material. Let's, 
Uh, oh, and that's the 25 minutes. Uh, the Zombie Survival Guide, I believe it was called. I've read it. It's, it has a few holes in it, I think. But it, in general, it does go offer good advice. Let's see. Checkpoint Charlie. It's hard to forget all of the tragedy I've witnessed along the way. So much life snuffed out and given to the army of the dead. Along the way, I keep hearing the radio message from the survivors. The message about Save Haven. If anyone is alive, I'm sure that's where they've gone, including my family. Okay. Uh, yeah. Pretty sure we can put this one on yes as well. Definitely yes. And this is it from Mac? No need to say the city if there is no city left. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Shall we go for one more game? We have 15 minutes about left from two hours. Uh, yeah, maybe we can do one more. Okay, that's good because this is the last game with death in this title that we have at the moment. Oh. <laughs> and I think this one will need no introduction either. Ding. Your yeah, your your audio got cut off there, but I'm pretty sure you got it right. Yeah. Stranding. Just stranding. Yeah. God, fuck, fucking. I think this is one of the games I know the least amount of. Oh uh, yeah, it's it's a Kojima production. It, it's basically Kojima let completely loose, which has its pros and cons. Like. From what I hear, it is actually a pretty good game. It's just that uh, someone really needed to someone really needed to rein in Kojima's typical bullshit because it keeps going on and on and on and on. Well, yeah, let's start. And okay, from very easy up to very hard. Okay, let's go with normal then. And can Instant be changed any time. Always nice. Text size. Let's go with normal. And start the timer. What? Okay, Glitch Boy. <laughs> My favorite so walking simulator. <laughs> oh, have you yeah. heard that one uh, be uh, discussed with? Uh, oh, there's a crap. I can't forget the time, uh, times that. Uh, something I think like many zombie movies forget about is how terrifying it would be when animals are infected as well. Yeah, and I'm not sure this is a crab. It looks too... It's a... Hmm. It, if it is, it's, it's a, very... a crab. Okay, yeah, I, I see it a bit more it's a now. Crab. It's a crab. Yeah. That, oh, bloody heck. Undead crab sounds like a horror. Bambi's mom coming from the grave to kick ass and take revenge. It's taking a long time. Yeah. Yep, there we go. It's almost like it hurt me. Okay, screen brightness. Uh, left and cannot be seen. Okay, handprint. There. There. Okay, statistical analysis indicated that Doom's ability may vary uh, according to this uh, first birth of sufferers, birth of date. Okay. Uh, may as well. Let's see. What? Eight I think, and then fifth. I think I heard people complain about this one. Let's see. High levels of Doom's abilities have been observed in those born under constellations such as Cancer. Rikus, Cetus, Delphinus, and Gigas? I don't... Okay, I don't actually know the Latin names for most of the constellations. Yep. That's where the design for the Kojima logo came from. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay, I thought, is this in the game? I've never heard of that in the game. 
The rope, along with the stick, are two of mankind's oldest tools. The stick to keep the bad away, the rope used to bring the good towards us. They were our first friends of our first invention. Whenever, you know, wherever there were people, something, Once something. there was an explosion. A bang which gave birth to time and space. Once there was an explosion. A bang which set a planet spinning in that space. Once there was an explosion. A bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. Michael Bay's poetry. <laughs> and oh, something from back. I played in a days gone to know zombie bears are no joke. That sounds terrifying as hell. Yeah. I'm going to presume that these are pre-made images and not in-game because I know it looks good, but not this good, I think. Yeah, and I saw some crystals. They look like bronze claws and hello. And there we have some death strands. Wait, what? Troy Baker. Okay, this is in game. I'm guessing. Like Guillermo del Toro, because, you know, they were going to make the next Silent Hill game. And then that got canned. What is this? Third deep. Apocalypse. Uh, I'm at where on the planet? <laughs> hey. Hi, Daryl. Oh, better grab your umbrella. Landscape is based off Auckland, I think. Okay. Well, I, that was one of my guesses, but I'd be surprised if it did take place there. This thing has seen better days. Looks like it can fall apart any second. I said fall apart, not fall off a cliff. Yep. And that one didn't make it. Okay. The only people in like a five mile radius and you still manage to hit and run them. Okay, I didn't actually expect it to go off a cliff. Okay, recover your cargo and shelter from the rain. Uh, recover, not kick off a cliff. 
so you might want to find your shoes. Uh, let's see. Is this I'm pretty sure they're on him. He well, had a second pair. Yeah, but he also had a. Yeah, he had a second pair attached to the bike. Is that a direction? That's directional. Uh, let's see. There's, uh, there's a city. Uh, is all of our stuff in the cliff? Probably, and I think so. Some from the Glacier Boy that he apparently, he's still, apparently he still is in America somewhere. Out there. Yeah, this pl takes place in America. I've, I've seen Beanie uh, stream this for a while. Okay. Yeah, I've been, I've been seen a little bit of this played on side, but not this part. Oh, wait, is this the one where they are escorting a unborn baby in a bottle or something? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, they skipped this part. There might have been a demo that they showed. Yeah, yeah, we gotta be careful because we can't just fall over if we're unlucky. There's some stuff down there. Or hmm. Way out the rain over there. Yep. Out of control. Yeah. There we go. Hello. New zombie bears here, right? Wait. Ain't that the actor from Walking Dead? Yes. <laughs> of love of. <laughs> yes, that's the guy who plays Daryl Dixon in The Walking Dead. I thought it was who was supposed to look like him, not be. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, he, he was actually supposed to like play the main character in the new Silent Hill game, but you know, that didn't pan out. Uh, might want to be careful with that rain. As you may have noticed in the cutscene, the rain accelerates aging of whatever it touches. Yeah. Oh. Standing on ends. Oh, that—that that is, whatever that rash-like stuff is, it's spreading fast. Go. That's why. Rude. Uh, what the heck? Oh. Didn't we hit and run you? Get away already. Two big fucking invisible monkeys. Huh? This thing. Let's 
Something I do not want to touch at the very, very least. I did that to stone walls, Ian. <laughs> when he's looking for snacks. <laughs> it's a, hey, look, it's the end of Evangelion. Sleeps in the fog. Damn it, now you spoiled it. <laughs> Actually, no, it gets way, way weirder than this in the Evangelion. Yeah, I have some of the DVDs. But not, I haven't never seen the end, but then I kind of gave up on it. I like Ava, but I don't, but I can't really say I blame you for it. For like giving up on it. Oh, right, this game, oh, right, I forgot. This game has also got a sequel in the works. I think you're All right. <laughs> what the hell? Didn't mean to grab you so hard. But why do we have spikes? A chiral allergy. So, you have dooms, like me. I've got the extinction factor, but I think you got me beat. What's your level? You can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. Level two, then. What are you doing here? Trying to stay dry. Same as you. Time falls let up. My name is Fragile. Yeah, I've heard of you. <laughs> that right? Sam Porter Bridges. The man who delivers. So you're fragile and you work for Fragile Express. You're are you the <laughs> Are you the owner? I'm going to guess she is named after her. Oh, hello, tardigrades. You want it? A crypto buy it a day keeps the time fall away. Ew. Wanna come work for me? Must be tough out here on your own. Yeah, I thought Fragile Express had plenty of people. Plenty of traitors. Not much left of us now, save for a few honest folks. And on top of that, not much left of me either. Got soaked from neck to toe. And I can't help you with that. I make deliveries. That's all. This is Bridges Central Dispatch. Freelance contractor Sam Porter Bridges. Receiver is standing by for drop. I think if I remember correctly, there's an Easter egg involving Conan O'Brien. Headed in this into game. town. <laughs> okay. Fancy Watch umbrella. Yourself. Those things never stay gone for long. Wouldn't protect too much, though, I'd say. So, you might want to get a better umbrella. Also, real lucky that that actually survived. The time full fast forwards whatever it touches. But it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. I'll see you around. Sam Porter Bridges. Okay. First, what's up with the spikes? Second, what's up with the teleporting? Hideo Kojima. Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm and pretty probably... sure one of the complaints of this game that I've heard is that almost nothing gets explained. 
Let's see. Blood and stamina yeah. gauges. I'm okay with mysteries, but if there's supposed to be mystery for mystery, mystery, yeah, just a dog pile of mystery, that's gonna get annoying quickly. Yeah. Okay. Blood gauge for health, stamina gauge for, well, stamina. Okay. Uh, actually, let me take a quick look. Uh, options. Yeah. Uh, and audio. Is really a very good time? Uh, yeah. Let's see. Timer still has some seven minutes on it. And I'm not seeing anything to avoid copyrighted music. So, oh well. Not that copy oh. strikes do much on me. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Over. That might explain why I haven't seen too many YouTubers play it. Yeah. Uh. Let's see. Crit for balance. And there's that deer. We didn't see, we saw it didn't make it. They definitely didn't make it. Okay. Endurance gauge appears above the stamina gauge when performing actions that wear Sam's body. Okay. Be sure to take a break before this it yeah, empties. Okay, let's grab those. Three or four smart drugs, but we need only deliver one. I think that's what that said there. Let's see. I think there is a definitive edition of this game, which hopefully does have like uh, stream safe you know, audio options. But hard to tell. Keeping balance in a river, when you center your balance while in a river, you will be able to resist the flow of the water. If you center your balance with both hands, you will be able to hold on for longer. Okay. okay what, what the heck is that? Some sort of ore deposit? And there's something that's definitely some sort of ore deposit or coral next to it. Question and also, I thought this was a, another zombie game, but now I'm unsure. Okay, and yeah, it's some sort of coral. Not fall on her face again. Let's see. This sounds like a song that the Joker would play if they chilled out some or just got high. Maybe? Okay, we can't get through that. We'll have to cross the river then. Part the river. Part the river. Let's see, where is it at its thinnest? So it would also be where it is at its fastest. This looks like a good spot. But yeah, a lot of this game is navigating your way around the environment. Okay, give it a rest. And there we go. Easy enough. Okay. Hey, there's the last bit of the stuff that we dropped. Or some of it. There we go. But yeah, this game has been described as basically the, the mother of all walking simulators. And walking back and forth is what a lot of this game is. Except, but there is more know, to it. There's actual gameplay here. Yeah. Let's see, what do you have here? Emergency provisions. Let's put them on our back as well. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> Approaching weight limits. Yeah, we can tip over. Car carrying too much cargo. Carrying too much cargo will make it easier to lose your balance. If you find yourself swaying left to right, 
Use the mouse buttons to shift their weight in the opposite direction and recover balance. Okay. Beginning scan. Cargo verified. Hmm. Thank you. Okay. Let's put on a bit of speed here as we head in. There we go. Keep that upright. Don't want to break it right at the end. Okay, offloading care and go. Carrying too much cargo will make it harder to make. Da -da. Try using E to offload cargo from your back and lighten your load. Okay. Uh, hold down. You see the F button, you need to hold down F. Try holding it down and <clears throat> until the delivery terminal responds. Note you will also that you will also need to hold down buttons other than F. For example, when you see the three icon, you need to hold that through. Okay. Make delivery. Uh, that all require, uh, go required is ready to deliver it. The order can be complete. Okay. Confirm. Here's your Uber Eats. Here's your post. Here's your post apocalyptic Uber Eats. What took you so long? It's not like the legend to come in late. Had to wait out the storm. Lost my bike. Sounds like you've been through the ringer. Luckily, our goods are in perfect condition. Well, you did keep us waiting, but everything else seems to be in perfect order. So, great work. We'll be awaiting the next delivery. It's delivered, delivered. Some stuff damaged, but not compromised. And yeah, this is <laughs> this is the Facebook's part of it. You get a bunch of likes and stuff. Oh, we actually get to see how we traveled as well. Full kilometer. And that's the timer going that's on. Right. Okay. Yep. Delivering is what I do. Is... What? Okay. Uh, Lost okay. cargo. Uh, I'm a bit unsure about streaming this. Yeah, it would take a long time, likely. But I'll probably be playing it on my own at the very least. And hopefully from that I'll be able to get a good enough understanding to... Well, <clears throat> to uh, stream it better. <laughs> that was your Yelp review. We got a lot of likes. More than one pe one person should be able to make. So uh, I think someone has a bunch of extra accounts. Okay, we gained levels, sort of. There is an uh, there is a progression system in this game. Chiral protocol online SND. Game designed by Hideo Kojima. That only took what a couple half an hour to let us know that. Yeah. Art by Joji Shinkawa because that's always been them. I don't know who. Wait, Kyle Cooper, what? Okay, I know people like hydraulics in their cars, but this is ridiculous. Yeah, what the heck? Also, that thing would tip over in a minute. Sam Porter, I presume? Right. Not the touchy feely type. Takuma said you had some kind of phobia. Bridges corpse disposal? What happened? Look, gotta get a move on. I'll explain as we go. Come on. Come and take a look. He's got a date with the incinerator. How long since he flatlined? 
don't know the exact DOD, but I'd say it's been upwards of 40 hours. He wasn't quarantined. I'm not sick. This is a suicide. Oh, Jesus. We're just lucky we found him at all. Got him on ice ASAP, but who knows when he'll go necro. Where are you taking him? Uh, closest incinerators to the north. This route's crawling with PTs. Sure you can't use another? I wish I could, but there's no time. Then just burn the poor bastard right here. You put all that Kyrillium in the air so close to town? Can't do it. Better that than trying for the incinerator. Hey, we can do this. We just need someone like you with dooms. stages of necrosis. If we don't hurry, this place is a crater. So how about it? Can we count on you? Then Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. It's Sam. Just Sam. And I can't spot BTs. Just sends them. That's why we came prepared. A bridge baby, huh? With its help and you, We'll be able to stay one step ahead of them. There, look, there's the fetus. Makes me feel like shit every time. Well, you are plugging into the other side. Freaks me out, too. Roll out. What the? Yeah. I'm pretty sure a lot of this stuff doesn't actually get explained unless you go looking around in the files or something. I, I thought it was to deliver the baby, not... The ba no, this is, is how they protect themselves from, like, the monster, from the invisible monster. Basically what? sort of spirit anchor with the other side of whatever the other side is. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling very uncomfortable suddenly. America is a country. Anybody could go anywhere they damn well pleased. No need for couriers like yourself. We had highways, airplanes. Hell, you could even visit other countries. <laughs> Hard to imagine it now. As you can see, the Death Stranding poked us full of holes. Fucked us beyond all recognition. And if you were lucky enough to survive, the time fall came and washed you away. Then those freaks from the beach showed up. The worlds of the living and the dead all mixed together. And that's when folks started holing up in the cities. Couriers like yourself got put up on a pedestal. Yeah, it seems the one thing I forgot this time was to turn on freaking Do Not Disturb mode on Steam. Rainbow! How much further to the incinerator? This guy's about to pop. Shit. We're gonna have to cut to the BTs. Well, this one sprung a leak. So, what's with the rainbow? What are you looking at? Are you 
Right, like turning that. it off and on again. That's a bunch of dead crabs. I mean, if you can turn the car over, it'll be fine. I feel like Helium was right. It is easy to flip over. That was someone's legs. It's a whole body. Okay. Pretty sure it's not going to flip so easily this time. Center of gravity is way too high like this. Spinny thing points to deadly thing.
That's a big fucker. <clears throat> and thus Daryl Dixon died in the middle of an explosion. More. This has been going on for like 20 minutes on its own like now. Yeah, I can see, I, I think I found the other reason why not many uh, me, me did YouTube videos on this game. It takes for freaking ever. And it's just, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that over there? What the fuck am I doing? What the? Hello, handcuffs. That's a lot of fish. I gotta say I'm sorry, I don't think we can stream this for Brain We will require more than two hours possibly. If I feel like this one is those here that could way too easily make us go over time yeah. too oftenly. And what the heck? I'm starting to get a headache already of just what the hell is going on, and I know some of the things that are going on, and I'm still getting a headache. Yeah. Hey, look, there's a, hey, look, there's our title. Hey, I got an idea. We could stream this on April Fool's Day. <laughs> Should we tell them that was yesterday? Falling down. Yeah, I still haven't finished Killer Falling. 7. Oh. Not the only thing I knew that song. song. Yeah, there's some weird bullshit going on with the land of the living and the dead overlapping. This beach being an aspect of the afterlife yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh, bloody. Yeah. Hidden, do you agree with me? This is not streamable for us. Yeah, it is streamable, but not really our style, because we're both just going, what the other hell? Also, yeah. what the hell are those? Like, dog tags of a sort? Yeah, and normally we don't talk uh, during cutscenes, but we're gonna have to, for there's so many cutscenes. Or rather, it's... so long. Yeah, like, the... like I said, he, someone really needed to rein in uh, Kojima and his stuff. I, I don't really, I, I think. At this point, it's more, more movie than a game. Scan. Yeah, and wait. Get, I, I was talking, we can't quit for. It's uh, half six now. Yeah. Uh, let's finish. Actually, I get the feeling once we finish this, we're going in for another half hour or something. But uh, yeah. yeah, Sam can respawn, shortly, simply put. So uh, yeah, before my nose starts to bleed from everything, we'll have to call it there. Yeah. <laughs> At the point where... it... Also, I am overlapping in front of uh, Rakir and Tiny again. Yeah. Who's the big one now, boy? <laughs> I'm the biggest, slide. so I'm yep. the boss. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> <just> <laughs>
Uh, for some reason, your image is only taking up like a, a less than a quarter of uh, the actual area assigned for it. So let me just double the size on everything with this. Uh, let's see. Uh, stretch the bounds. Let's double that. Or, and just ab abuse the wolf in the meantime. <laughs> and then 1350. Uh, uh, what the heck? Why did it, uh, something is backing up with it? I ate too many snacks. <laughs> but why? Oh, oh, I, that's the wrong thing I was filling in. Zero on that. Yeah, then, I don't see anything at the moment. Five. There and, we go. Yeah. Also, I saw early Glacier Boys early comment that the babies are still. Boom. Come on. Why is my mouse moving when I'm doing this? There we go. That's better. Okay. I'll, I'll leave it at that for the moment. I'll fine tune that later. But uh, yeah, since you two are seeing OBS, you can see just how much space is being wasted on this thing for some reason. Jesus. Holy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was the showcase Sunday for today. A, a little bit over time, yeah. So let's just go. Up. Let's just accidentally flash the the, <laughs> the lizard by pressing on the wrong browser, which opens up on the uh, same screen, which causes a flash on Discord. Yeah, I guess it. If I had known that game is would no way allow you to do a 50 minute to 20 minute peak. Uh. Yeah, if I'd known that I would have not filled it, I would have saved it for next time. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll I'll continue with it on my own, see how things are. Uh but for now. Let's head on over to Twitch to look for someone to raid. <laughs> the place is you muted. Have you guys have a good night. See you guys later. <laughs> okay, yeah. See this you later wrong. sometime. And thank you for being thank here you as always. <laughs> yeah, thank you for joining. You too. See you later. See ya. Okay, and yeah, Mac Dead Space, the, well, the Dead Space remake is definitely going on the two stream list. Uh, but yeah, recap, Dead Rising 2, what are your thoughts on that? Dead Rising 2, I say, I am curious of Dead Rising. Okay. Uh, we can put that so, as a maybe at the moment. It can take yeah, quite a while, and there is a good chance of just screwing up completely and needing to restart. But I can look up a guide. Yeah, don't... I guess Dead Rising is definitely so, do, that game we will do some double checking on. Yeah. The next up, we have Dead Space. We played the original, but we will stream the, uh, the remake sometime. Dead Bolts is a definite yes already. And Dead Lights. What are your thoughts on that one? I'm leading way towards no. Yeah, Dead Lights, not Stranding. Oh, Dead Light. <laughs> oh, Dead Light, yes. Okay, so those will go on the eventual to-do list, which is getting fatter and fatter. Yeah, but for now, I would... Death Stranding is definitely, for now, a big no for... That's gonna just screw us over too many ways uh, in over time. Yeah, maybe I'll record when I'm playing it for my own, so likely without commentary or such. Uh, but yeah, uh, not live streams at least. Okay. Yeah. Now, let's have a look at who are online at the moment. We have Touch Scaly Tail with Deep Rock Galactic. They're having a community day, it seems. Uh, triple check that the place is muted, so we can actually take a peek without getting their audio. Oh, and they're, they're on the pre-stream still. We have I'm Nice, with who is streaming Monster Hunter World. Okay, and they're doing the Iceborne... Ex is, what's it called? Iceborne? The, the uh, Ice Expansion. That they're wearing a stupid hat. Okay. What the heck? Then we have Grem the Wolf with Yes, Your Grace. Okay. Oh, I, I know this game a little bit. I think I saw that pop up in my Steam queue or something. 
Uh, I've hey. seen uh, Yibakaye Mr. Falcon play this. Hmm. I haven't seen anything. Actually, did I unfollow them? I might have unfollowed them because I think they uh, spent a long time just playing uh, not safe for work games and I got pretty tired of uh, those. Uh, they, they're mixing up a little bit more, like with zombie games and other games like that, but they yeah. do some unsafe work games, but they show the unsafe version on the Patreon. But they right. are trying to mix it up, at least. Next up, we have... Yep. We have Sour Wolves, who is streaming Dredge, which has come out recently, apparently, uh, at about half price to normal games, so 25-ish. I'm curious about this game, and I might pick it up at some point. It's definitely good at luring people in with what it did before. Yeah. Then we have Redacted Cat, who is doing a birthday stream, apparently, with Diablo 2. Okay. All right. Uh, the original have... one, it seems. Uh, what like. the heck? We have Kanai, who is streaming Elden Ring. Horatius the Dwarf is just chatting at the moment. Today we end this. What? Uh, he must be talking about a game he's been streaming or something. Um, yeah, I'm guessing he's not too happy about what happened with Dark and Darker. There's some bullshit going on, but apparently that... Mm, it wasn't really... It, at the same time, was and wasn't a stolen game, as in the director of it uh, basically worked for Nexon on a game that is basically the same, uh, but they were, weren't going to publish it, they were going to cancel it. So he, from what I've heard, he basically took some of the crew, took some of the codes, uh, fucked off, made Iron Mace and made Dark and Darker, but because they, well, basically took... They didn't take assets, but they did take code and such, and workers. Uh, since they were basically working under contract during that, uh, they basically stole the games, sort of. So it's, yeah, a, I, it's a bunch of legalese and such. Have you heard, I heard that they, uh, the court ruled in favor of them? Okay, I'll need to double check that. Uh, I know Kira from Kira TV has been keeping an eye on that, but apparently things have been not going good for Iron Mace. Uh, apparently there's like a riot among their own ranks or something. I don't. I try not to keep too close of an eye on stuff like that because I just get tired of drama and such. But from what I hear, it's, a, it's at the very least a gray area, but it's not likely that uh, Dark and Darker will return. <clears throat> oh dear. Moving on, we have Puffle Cakey, who is streaming Tekken 7. Okay. And last but not least, we have Mr. Icarus, who is streaming retro games. Okay, Doom. Uh, what version of Doom is hard to tell? One or two, probably modded or emulated or something. It definitely the older that ones. All right. It does look modded. Yeah, running very smooth. Okay. Um, <clears throat> who shall we rate then? Or shall we look oh. at recommendeds? I'm thinking Redacted Cat at the moment. Yeah, let's ra let's rate that them. For I am a bit stuck on who else. Okay. Maybe we should call start calling them uh, Bleep Cat since well it's, it's Redacted. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, copy the name, slash raid and paste. But before we start, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you Glacier Boy, Berg Mac, and Big Trucker as well for coming along for a bit and chatting, even though Trucker had to go for bed, which makes sense since, well, it's past midnight where he is. And thank you, <clears throat> thank you as well again, Ram Royal, and as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And let's see, actually, let me cut this out a bit. For anyone interested, we have a Discord server uh, that should lead to it, uh, unless I manage to screw something up, of course. But uh, yeah, for now, it's only for people who in, if you're interested in, of course, keeping track of uh, when we are going live and such. But for now, let's start up that raid.
and unless something comes in the way like yesterday which was entirely my fault for no evening stream i just double booked the time basically um <clears throat> unless something pops up last minute i should be good for another stream uh, tonight in about two ish uh yeah, in about two hours ish after dinner and uh yeah we'll be streaming tomb raider legend again if nothing comes in the way of course I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> all right. So for now, thank you all again for watching. Until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for zombies. And just uh, death stranding bullshit. Yeah, bloody heck, that thing. Uh, I'm going to need aspirin. <laughs>